In this video, I'm going to show you how I made the legs for my auxiliary 50 watt solar panel. I'm reusing the legs and cross pieces I made for my 100 watt panel, but I've cut them down a little to fit the smaller panel. The cross pieces attach using the original mounting holes in the frame, which is important because drilling extra holes in the frame avoids the warranty on the solar panel. The cross pieces are made of aluminum angle bar. I used about 4 feet of 3 quarter by 3 quarter by 1 eighth of an inch angle. I drilled a hole and attached some velcro straps with a small wood screw. The cross pieces are cut just slightly shorter than the width of the panel to account for the thickness of the frame and to let you slide it into place. The legs are cut from 3 quarter of an inch by 1 eighth of an inch flat bar. I used about 8 feet in all. For the top set I used a jigsaw to cut away sections to clear the wiring coming from the panel. Even cut away the flat bar is still strong enough to hold the panel up. I've cut pairs of legs to the length needed to give me the tilt for my latitude at different times of the year. I'm going to go over how to do all the calculations at the end of the video. On the big panel I had to cut away parts of the cross piece, but I don't need to do that on this smaller one. I will also need some bolts, washers and nuts, and I've drilled out the center of two nuts to be able to use them as spacers. I'm also going to use some Loctite to keep the bolts from working loose. The longest legs are limited by the width of the panel, but will be about right for spring and fall at my latitude. Just a small drop of Loctite is enough, but try to work it around the whole bolt. I'm using two nuts on each bolt. The second nut will keep the first one from working loose. The other two legs will be for summer. I also want to have the option to adjust it for the time of day, for example, low sun early in the morning or last thing in the afternoon. The spacer is to leave room to fold up the first leg. After this, I'll do the same for the other cross piece. The cross pieces with their legs can now be attached to the frame. To attach the cross pieces to the frame, I've put the panel upright. It's pretty much impossible to get the nuts on with it laying flat. The mounting holes are a bit big for my bolt heads, so I've put a washer on these ones. And I'm going to put Loctite on the threads again to keep them snug. I'm going to try lock washers on the back instead of double nuts and we'll see what works better. There isn't a lot of space for fingers inside the frame, so while you can get the nuts on with just your fingers, it's a lot easier with pliers or tweezers. To set it up, I just have to fold out the legs that I need. The first set gets me about 25 degrees, but I will probably try to cut a bit off these legs as I was shooting for about 22. This is, will be suitable for midsummer and midday. The second, 30 degrees, is good for early or late summer. And the third set is about 45 degrees, which is good for spring and fall or early morning anytime. First, always turn over or cover the solar panel so it doesn't create an electrical current while you're working on the wiring. The wiring coming from the panel has MC4 connectors built in. MC4 connectors are not meant to be connected and disconnected a lot and will fail if you use them every day, so for that I will use a different type of connector. I've soldered enough 12 gauge wire to these extensions to give me about 25 feet of cable. I covered the joint with heat shrink tubing and followed up with electrical tape to protect the soldered joint which can be fragile. I've used pieces of red heat shrink tubing on the positive wire to be sure I don't mix them up. At the other end of my wires, I've soldered a SAE connector. And the other end of the SAE connector is installed in my center console in the van. The SAE connector can only be plugged in one way, so that will prevent me from mixing up my wires and frying my panel or charge controller. The wires from the SAE plug continue down under the floor and is soldered to the wires from the rooftop panel, then they both go to the charge controller. Remember to always have your battery connected before connecting the solar panel to the charge controller to avoid overloading the controller and be careful not to let the bare wires touch while working on them. There are different ways of calculating the angle of tilt needed for your location and time of year 
depending on how accurate you want to be and how much math you want to do. The simplest is to take your latitude and then set your spring and fall panel to that angle. In my case, since I'm close to the 45th parallel, I will set my tilt to 45 degrees. For summer, you subtract 15 degrees from, the, from your latitude. In my case, that will give me 30 degrees. And for winter, you add 15 degrees. That would give me 60 degrees. But since I won't be camping in the winter, I didn't try to make legs for 60 degrees. There are also lots of online calculators out there to help you figure out the angle for your solar panels. This one at solarelectricityhandbook.com asks for your country, state, and city, and it will calculate the angles for you. If I put in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, it'll give me 68 degrees for winter, 44 degrees for spring and fall, and 20 degrees for summer. So as you can see, you get a bit of variation from one method to the next, and also be aware that different sites look at the angles from different positions. This one has the angle coming out from a post, and other ones are up from the ground. Since mine is on the ground, I will have to subtract their angle from 90 degrees. Once you've decided on your angles, it's time to dust off the trigonometry. Just kidding. Again, there's calculators on the internet for that. Our panel setup is basically a right angle triangle. Calculator.net has a nice calculator, which lets you put in the angle you want and the length of the sides, which will form your triangle. But our panel and our diagram are not going the same way. Our 90 degree is here, but on the diagram, it's here. So to make it clearer, I'm going to rotate and flip our example. Okay, so now, if you're still with me, you can see that this is the right angle, and our tilt angle will be angle A, and our panel will be side B. Just put in your tilt angle that you want, and the length of the panel, and click Calculate. Now the calculator will give us all the sides and angles, but the one we need is side A, which will be the length we need for the legs. I hope that didn't hurt your heads too much. And anyway, it doesn't change a lot if you're off by a few degrees, especially since one way of calculating gave me 30 degrees and the other 22 degrees for my summer angle. I hope you'll find this useful. I feel it's a nice solid system, which doesn't take up any extra space. I haven't had any problems with wind, but if it's blowing a gale, it might be best to keep the panels inside that day. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more about my electrical system, you can check out this video.